Hello and welcome back to another Top Biz Guides tutorial. In this video, I'm going to be covering how you can use tools in the job schedule in order to make your life easier and more efficient when scheduling. Now, I've already covered the basics of job schedule in a previous video, so make sure to check that out if you haven't already. So what we'll do is we'll first access the schedule over here on our left sidebar. And then we'll see tools appear over here with this little wrench icon on the top right of the screen. We'll start from the top and we'll work our way down to the bottom. Adding an event. An event can be used in order to communicate information on a specific day of the schedule. It's going to be visible to everyone in the schedule. Now, how is this different, for example, than a shift? Because it's not like a role or a job that one person in the schedule needs to complete. Rather, it's something that's relevant for everyone in the schedule. And we want to communicate this event, this information to them. So we want to make sure that they're aware of it. So for example, it could be a meeting. So let's go ahead and add that. We'll add the event. It'll let us know that the event was added successfully, and then we'll see it at the top. Now, just like I covered in our past meeting, if we want to edit it, we can click on it and it'll allow it to edit. And if I want to duplicate, I can hover over it and click this plus icon, and then it will allow me to duplicate the event because I can add multiple events per day if I want to. Great, let's move on. A time off blackout. Now, why would I want to add a time off blackout? Let's say, for example, I know that a certain week is going to be busy or it could be really a variety of reasons, but pretty much I don't want employees to be able to request time off during a certain period. So for example, we'll pick the start day and end day. So let's say I don't want them for these two days, I don't want them to request time off. And I can also choose how many people I will accept. So if I enter here zero, for example, it will mean that entering zero will block all employees from requesting time off, which means that if I enter zero, no one can request time off. When they try to on their mobile app, they'll get a notification saying that they're not able to. So that is how we can add a time off blackout should you need to. Great. The next thing that we had in our add option is an employee. So if I want to add an employee, I can do so from here. There's other places to add an employee in the, in the there's other places to add an employee in the platform, but here it gives you an option to add one too directly from the schedule. So you can choose to add an employee individually. You can choose bulk add. So you would fill out a spreadsheet with your employee's information to add multiple employees at once, or you can also connect your POS and import your users from there, which is pretty cool. Let's move on to the next tool, clear. So if I want to clear any unpublished changes that I made to the schedule. So for example, let's say that I've made a couple changes, like I changed the hours for a shift, right? So I clicked here and I changed the hour for the shift. Okay, so I haven't yet published, but then I realized, wait, I, I made a mistake here. I actually don't want to do this anymore. So I can go to tools and I can clear any unpublished changes. So clearing any unpublished changes, we'll see. So now this reverted back to the original time. Can sort of act like an undo button of sort, which is nice to have. If I want to clear the entire schedule, I can do so as well. So this would clear any publish shift in the schedule as well. This would clear the entire thing. If I want to sort, I can sort. So for example, sort by first name, sort by last name, or custom sort, which will allow me to drag and drop and then sort of play around with the order that I want my employees to appear over here on the left. Okay, show and hide, I can choose what I want to show and hide. So if I want to hide events, I can do that. Hours forecast, wage forecast, if you've added wages, which I'll cover in the next video that I do. People forecast, you'll see over here people. So example, on Thursday, I see there's three shifts for three people. So that's the people forecast that we see over here. So if I toggle it off, we'll see that it goes away. And if I only want to see scheduled employees, then I can toggle this on and off templates. If I've created any shift templates, I can use that. So for example, this would be my shift template that I currently have right now. And now we see that I've created a template. You see, so we have the total number of shifts and the total hours as well. So that's how you can also create a template. View publish history. If I want to see an activity log of when shifts were published in the schedule, this is where I can view it. 10, 50, and 100 will allow me how many entries I want to view, should there be more. And reset notifications allow me to reset notification to everyone on the schedule, telling them that they have a shift posted on their schedule. So that's it. That goes over our tools in the schedule at home base. I hope you guys enjoyed the video and I hope to see you on the next one.